Hi, I'm Colleen Hiscock, owner and chef at Java Jacks in Lucky Harbor, Newfoundland and Labrador. In today's how-to session, we are going to make super juicy burgers. Sure that everyone has their own burger recipe. This one will be super juicy and you won't add any kind of extra ingredients other than those that you have around you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pound of ground meat. And you can have lean ground meat of any kind, extra lean, I'm really after the lean component. So now we've got our, our lean meat in the bowl and we are going to add a teaspoon of salt, full teaspoon of salt. And that full teaspoon is gonna go in the bowl here. You can see the meat and that meat is gonna be lovely and sticky. I don't want to handle it too much because my hands are nice and warm, but you can see that your meat is starting to get very sticky. This is ground pork, but you can use the ground turkey, ground chicken, ground beef. Um, those that are a little leaner, it works a little bit better. And it only takes a few moments, essentially about 15 seconds. And you're going to just knead it as if you're kneading some bread and mix it around. If you and voila, look how sticky tacky that is. It is so different from what you had in terms of meat before. That is called extracted protein. And so when we have that, we can now add, and I'm gonna add a half a cup of water. Strange, hey? No eggs, no breadcrumbs, half a cup of water. A quarter cup at a time and watch it absorb. This is the magic of meat. The meat is gonna take on that moisture and it's gonna hold it in place. You're gonna have these wonderful, juicy burgers because now you've added a little water. Look at that, it's already absorbed. Another little bit. And it's amazing how much water this will take. Okay, so now all of that moisture is all absorbed of this wonderful sticky mass here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some uh, onions and some garlic that I already had cooked. So taste, so you can add those or any other inclusions that you might have. So now I'm just gonna add a little pepper and the pepper is just going to add to the seasoning. So I've got onions and garlic in here as my inclusions. Now I'm gonna create myself my little patties. And essentially these patties won't shrink to the same extent that you normally would. We're gonna let them sit and we're gonna put them in the fridge. And we're gonna let them set up because the protein's not completely extracted. And so we need a little time. It's going to be, so you can set these up in the morning, put them in the fridge, and you will find that they'll firm up quite nicely for you, even with that full half cup, cup of water. And you'll find out when we go to barbecue them how great those are. I'm gonna open up the barbecue. And look at these patties. I mean, they are not falling apart. We're gonna put them on, sear, sizzle, a couple of flips in terms of barbecuing. And that's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna put them all in a little row here. I've only got half of the barbecue uh, warmed up here. And that's really all we're going to need. Go out of the way. Let them sizzle. We're gonna sear them on one side and then we're gonna flip them over. Most people um, don't have the patience just let them cook. Most people wanna to touch them. And we're just going to watch them for a minute. And what I wanna see is a little bit more browning around the edges before I start to actually try and take them off. So we're just gonna leave them and let them cook. And I have the barbecue open because the grill's quite hot, so I'm just gonna let them cook uh, on that side. Now I'm gonna flip them over only once. Got a little bit of charring, but don't worry about that. That's all about the flavor. So the temperature is uh, increased here. We're still at around 300 degrees. So I'm just gonna have a look. Have a look at how plump these are. And notice I don't have any flaring in my barbecue at all. The fat is not going to the bottom. I'm just gonna keep them. They're gonna stay there. They're not quite done. I can tell by the touch. Uh, in the center, they're still a little bouncy. And that means that they're not done yet. Some of these juices are still not running clear, so we're just going to leave them. This one's ready. So I'm going to take that. This one is ready. So 100 and 
58 degrees Fahrenheit, 70 degrees Celsius, and uh, you're good to go. So we're gonna leave these three here. Again, you notice that I didn't flip them over. I'm not squishing them. I wanna make sure that they're gonna be lovely and juicy. And there's no need to press them. And there's no need to squish the juice out. It's gonna hold. So there we are. Okay, so we've just come in from the barbecue. Have a look at this juicy, tender, lovely um, burger that we have here. This one also beautiful and tender, easy to cut into. Look at the juice on this lovely burger. Nothing like it. It looks fabulous. And who would want this super juicy burger for their barbecue? Till next time. I'm Pauline Hiscock. Bon appétit.